This is how small it is. It's unbelievably tiny. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the portable soldering iron that I got from Banggood and this is called the TS100. And this was I think the upgraded kit as they call it. It comes with a stand, a head for the soldering iron and it comes actually with two heads and the heads do come like this. So we've got a little basic pointy tip one, very sharp, small pointy tip one. So this one should be good. So we're actually going to be testing this guy right now. And we also got this one here in the package, as you can see. So this is going to be good for some kind of SMD soldering, but we're not going to be... Well, we are actually going to be doing that, but I'm not going to be using it. So let's put these guys to the side. It's all it really comes with other than the manual. Um, however, it does not come with any kind of power supply, so you're going to have to provide power yourself. And as you can see here, it's through a DC jack. <clears throat> now, this only takes DC and does not take AC, and I believe it takes uh, the DC up to 24 volts. So I've prepared a power supply, which is actually a 12 volt power supply here. And we're actually going to just turn it on and check it out. This is the first time I've ever turned it on. And let's see if it works. All right. So it's heating up pretty quick, actually. I can already feel the heat. So let's see where is this going to. I want it 310. Okay. So I guess it's heating up pretty fast. Alright. Do we feel temperature? Yeah, actually, I do feel a bit of heat. So let's keep this guy here with its stand. So that's very good. Yeah. And let's go ahead and grab a soldering kit. This is a practice soldering kit. It's an SMD practice soldering kit that I got from Banggood. And I'll leave a link down to these. I do have a bunch of these, and every every once in a while I'll do a couple just to practice soldering. It's always fun. It's just relaxing, to be honest, sometimes when there's nothing to do. But really, I've just been so busy. And this is kind of an excuse to get going on one of them. These are pretty cool. They come with all the SMD components and everything. And, um... Teaches you the sizes and everything, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. All right, so before using it and getting started, let's add some solder to the tip here before the tip goes bad. Before we've ever even used it before, so let's do that first. All right. Just get that all over it right there. That should be pretty good, I believe. Melting very beautiful, very nice. And it feels so uh, good in the hand actually. This this uh, soldering iron, it's, it's very small. It's smaller than what I'm used to actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the 1206 sized uh, resistors here, and then we're gonna move our way down. We're not gonna do all of them, but we're just gonna go ahead and test it out here. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult on camera, as uh, I usually do this off camera. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and skip over me opening one of these guys. Alright, so here I got one guy out and he's right there. And these are these are pretty tiny. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit up one side with solder here. And we're gonna do this side. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, nice. Alright, nice and shiny. So we're gonna get our tweezers. And we are going to set this guy like so. Very nice actually, it's just doing its job pretty well. I must say, um, I'm pretty impressed actually. It's very nice. So let's go ahead and hit the other side now. All right. All 
Alright, so it's actually doing a very good job, actually. Um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting this. But, you know, but anyways, there's still tiny pads. We really can't say much just yet. But um, overall, I am pretty pleased with it. So let's go ahead and just hit another one. Let's try another one out before going further to the smaller ones and seeing how that's going to go. Alright, let's hit this side with solder. Alright, so... All right, so now we're going to hit the second one here. And just for comparison, I'm show you how small these guys are. Damn. Especially when these guys flip over. It's a pain. So these are pretty tiny, but we're even going to do a little bit tinier than this in a little bit right now. So let's go ahead and move this guy. All right, let's put him down because I need to grab my left hand here. Make sure you... Well, I mean, if you're doing the same kind of kit or really anything in soldering, make sure your forearm is like rested on the table or something because that way it gives you better balance. It is pretty good, actually. I really do like it. <clears throat> I'm actually really loving this. And I'm actually, I'm using this guy on only 12 volts. I just found a power supply before making one for my uh, XT60 connectors for my battery. So when I'm out in the field and using it, uh, it'll be pretty good. All right. All right, so that's pretty simple. Now let's move to a smaller size. Mm, should we go super small? Hmm. All right, so let's just see. Let's move to these here. We'll move to the 0, 0, 0805 now. Let's just prepare one pad here. We should increase the temperature of the soldering iron a tiny bit. Usually I do these around 350. Can this hit even 350? Well, there we go. It's on 350 now. And we're gonna see how well it's gonna heat up there. Seems like it's heating up pretty quick. So let me go ahead and grab the smaller sized resistors here. All right, so it's right there. If you can see that, it's a lot tinier than that guy. So let's go ahead and do this guy. So let's see how this is gonna work out for us. Actually went down pretty well. So that's very good. It's a little bit dirty there, but that's fine. You know, it's just about the execution of the whole thing. So this is actually doing very well. I really do like this uh, soldering iron here. And um, <clears throat> soon we're going to be doing the tests on the bigger pads because, you know, usually we're doing a lot bigger stuff than this. But, I mean, even it's working pretty darn good on this here. As you can see, that's just very nice. So let's go even smaller now. So let's go back here. Let's go to the smallest possible, which is 0402. And this thing is tiny. So let's just prepare one pad here. Okay. So we got one pad. Let me just show you just how tiny they are. They are just like non-existent it's like just soldering an atom basically <laughs> so yeah well, let's just get one of these guys out it's a pain sometimes to get them out there we go i'm gonna show you on my f i just lost one all right perfect this is how small it is it's unbelievably tiny like super tiny okay just put it in the area where we want it because I need to grab this with my left hand. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe we should zoom in for you guys. Alright, so let's see how well this is going to do. And expect it to flip over. See, these are just known to be annoying 
for flipping over. There we go. <laughs> it just disappeared in the thin air. All right, I found it, and we're gonna go in for the kill here. All right, that's in. Perfect. So now let's just hit the other side here. Do you see how tiny that is? That is just like insanely tiny. There we go. So, on tiny, small spots, it's just working beautiful. Um, if you could see that right there. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it so far, but I mean, I mean, this is not really a super hard task here. And, um, but overall, I mean, it's just doing absolutely beautiful to be honest. So here, let's just take another example. All right, so far I am very impressed and I keep wanting to reach over to my bigger soldering iron for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually solder this guy right here. So let's go ahead and do this guy. Let's prepare this guy. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and solder this guy in here. And what I like to do is I like to get the edges first. So I just line it up. That should be nice right there. There we go. So that's pretty cool. It's doing a pretty good job, actually. I must admit, um, it's doing very well. And I'm not even using flux here. Usually, I would use flux for these kinds of things. There we go. Wow. Let's clean up the tip a little. Flip it over. This is kind of not aligned super perfect, but no, no, it's it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not going to do any damage here. There we go. That was very nice and very simple, very clean. No issues, it melted that stuff right away. So, all right guys, so what are my final thoughts on this? Um, I think it's absolutely phenomenal for what we just used it for. Uh, for field testing, that'll be upcoming on the channel. But so far, to be honest, I am like absolutely in love here. Um, I didn't expect how well it's going to perform, performed very good. I thought I was going to lose heat very quickly, but um, it just held its ground. However, this is a tiny test. Uh, the bigger tests will be upcoming on the channel where we use it to completely build a quad from zero and doing field testing eventually once we go out flying. But um, overall, I, I, he se it seems like an absolute winner. Uh, it seems like it could perform. And uh, I was just using it on 12 volts now, and in the field I'll be using on 16.8. And this takes up to 24 volt as you can see here the positive is the inner part of the dc input so just take that into consideration i mean if i had to rate it i'd rate it nine and a half out of ten now why would i give it nine and a half out of ten just because i have to bring my own adapter here that's it that's the only reason why i would do that um other than that it's absolutely 
just phenomenal. The way you change the tip is just easy. Just unscrew this, pull the whole thing off, put a new tip, and you're good to go. This stands very good. Um, even if you don't have the stand and you lay it down, it won't touch the table. You'll have like a good, I don't know, five millimeters of clearance. But if you have this, you get a little bit more clearance. As you can see, even if it flips upside down, it ain't touching anything. So that's very good. Uh, the feel of it while you're soldering is very good, but try not to hit this while you're soldering. Uh, I did that once, but um, it should be very easy to uh, ignore it and just not hit it here. But overall, it performed and um, very satisfied, very happy with it, and I should have gotten it sooner. And well, that's concluded for this video, guys. So if you're curious about this, um, it'll I'll have a link down below. It will be an affiliates link, so if you can use it, that support channel will go a very long way. And um, that's it, guys. Overall, it was a very good product, and we're just gonna keep testing it through throughout the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.